know, when I first climbed this mountain above the fog, I thought to myself, now here is a metaphor worth taking in. You've entered a place of clarity, understanding, peace. While you're here in Acadia, Synthkind welcomes you as long as you welcome us. Well, in that case, I want a Nuka Cola, some stim packs, Kasumi Nakano returned to her family, and a pony. <laughs> I see. I'm afraid some of those things I'm not in a position to give. Kasumi is here. She's safe and unharmed, and you're free to see her if you'd like. Before you do, though, tell me, do you think Kasumi is a synth? We're not answering any more questions until you play straight with us. Just who the hell are you, really? There's only one synth with that kind of face and a mind of his own. And I only see him when I look in a mirror. Nick. It... It can't be you. Don't give me that. What are you trying to pull? I've never seen you before in my life. Please, if you're willing to give me a chance, I can explain. I know this joke. Two androids walk into a bar. I'm afraid the punchline isn't going to be very funny. We were prototypes, Nick. The first synths capable of independent thinking and judgment. Keep talking. One of the Institute's experiments had to do with how our brains could process personality. If we could handle individualized feelings and behaviors, I was allowed to develop mine based on experience. But with you, they wanted to try transferring an entire personality into you. It took several attempts before the personality imprint worked. I saw you wake up not knowing who or what you were so many times. I couldn't let them do it to you anymore. We were the only two prototypes they made. I literally saw myself in you. You were my brother, Nick. I helped you escape the Institute. We left together. If I were your brother, I'd remember. That's where you'd be wrong. This happened over a century ago. There's... There's only so much memory that can fit into the prototype brains we have. Ah, I've heard enough. I think you and I need to talk about this. Maybe not now, though. Nick. Is he really your brother? If he is, it's news to me. Can sense even be related? Just because we're from the same assembly line, does that make us family? I gotta think about this. We'll talk later. This is a lot to take in. Nick, I don't need you to believe me. I'm just glad to see you again. Whenever you're ready, I'll be here. Now, about young Kasumi. It's important that you understand exactly why she's here. I asked you before if you think she's really a sin. If you could indulge me with an answer. Why are you asking? Because she came here with that very question. And the answer changes every part of her world. None of us take this transition lightly. She's facing the possibility of her entire life being a lie. That someone stripped her very identity from her and made her into something she isn't. I want you to understand that before you see her. She has a chance here to live as a synth, not hiding, not pretending to be something else. One more question, if you'll indulge me. You're here for Kasumi, but I suspect there could be another reason you came to us. Tell me, are you a synth? How would I even know? 
I'm afraid if you're looking for some biological test we can do, there isn't any. None that aren't fatal. Instead, you have to look for the signs, holes in someone's memory, feelings of unexplained isolation, odd dreams. But ultimately, you have to decide for yourself. What do you believe? Have you ever questioned your humanity? No, but if I squint real hard in the mirror, sometimes I look like someone else. <laughs> I'm afraid when I try that trick, nothing really changes. I know it might seem impossible that you could be a simp, but tell me, what's the first thing you can remember? I'm not gonna tell my life story to someone I barely know. Let's hear your answer first. I was in a laboratory in the Institute. They were pulling pieces of my head out. Something about wanting to test some neural process. That was every day for months. Strapped down. Operated on. And then... I was out. The Institute has fail-safes to strip memories that could identify where they are, how to find them, but I do remember being quite content. I was free. That is my earliest memory. Now, yours. I remember being in my house the day the bombs fell. We ran to the vault. We were frozen. I was the only survivor. No memories before then? Just a single day, and then waking up alone? We so easily accept what's presented to us as the truth, don't we? Isn't it funny how a memory can feel like a whole different reality? People, places, even sounds and colors can change. Or someone else has changed them. I won't lie to you. There will always be other explanations. Trauma, disease, the background radiation. They all take their toll on the mind. But I can promise you that we will accept you, no matter what you decide you are. I've heard enough. Where's Kasumi Nakano? Of course. Kasumi is usually working down below. You can see her whenever you like. Acadia is open to you. Feel free to walk the grounds. Introduce yourself to my co-founders, Faraday and Chase. Did you need anything else before you go? <laughs>